Do you have any problems in Pixel Insight? You don't know if you have the right version, Gregspit script is not running, some processes or script are missing. We're gonna look at it now and we're gonna resolve it. Hey, this is Fear Into Space. I'm Sascha from Switzerland. So, Grüezi miteinander and thanks for watching my channel. So, today we're gonna look at everything that can go wrong about PixInsight. But before we start with this topic, you know that I take user comments, especially when they are concerned about the foundation of astrophotography. I take them very seriously and I want to respond to them. So, and this is the case right now. There were some foundational things mentioned that cannot be left unresolved. So first of all, people were concerned that my modern office chair did not work with this old background. And so I adjust it and I hope this looks now much more in line. Secondly, there was a concern that my background is static, which just doesn't look realistic. I agree. So let's resolve that right now. And last, but definitely not least, some commenter really wanted to see mice. Why ever? So here is the mouse. So with these important topics out of the way, let's start now with our troubleshooting. So the reason why I do this video is actually because of the newest Gregspert script, which needed the most recent version of PixInsight, I was kind of forced to upgrade and for the first time I actually also run into issues. General hyperbolic stretch was simply disappearing, not working anymore. And in my way of troubleshooting everything, I found it would be good to compile everything in one video so that whenever you have an issue, you can come here and find a solution. So we go now to my computer and go through it step by step. So welcome to my computer, welcome to Pix Insight. Just one thing for the start, I will explain certain things which for some of you might be absolutely obvious. And that's great, but for others it's not obvious. So I will go through everything from the easy to the tough stuff. So stick with me. So the first question is how do we update Pix Insight? How do we even know which version we have? So when we go on Pix Insight about you see actually here the version that you have. And the 1892 is the main version, but also crucial here is the build 1597. That's at the moment the newest one released on the 19th of January 2024. Now you might have the misconception that you can update PixInsight like in any other application by going resources, updates, and then you know check for updates. And then as long as it says here, no updates currently available, hooray, I'm at the most recent version. That is, as stated, a misconception. Because in PixInsight, as we know, nothing is as easy as in other softwares. By design. <laughs> so, how do you update? You actually need to go to www.pixinsight.com. There you go to Downloads, Software Distribution. You enter your credentials and then you're actually in. You go on installing PixInsight core packages. And then down here in PixInsight installation files, here you actually find them. You have a Windows one, you have a Mac OS one, and you have a Linux one. Now there's one important thing. If you have Windows, that's fine. All you have to do, download the EXE, start it, and it will overwrite the old one and all is fine. But when you run like me a Mac, you first have to remove the Pix Inside folder from the application folder and then you have to execute the package. So you can actually see that here in my application folder, here's this Pix Inside folder. So you just throw this here in the trash or if you want to be careful, you throw it in another directory so that it's not in the application directory anymore. And after that, you can actually install the new Pix Insight package. You do not have to be scared that because of that you would lose all your configuration. By design, everything should stay as it is because there's a configuration file which is not in this Pix Insight folder. And so the new Pix Insight version 
will again access this configuration file and know which scripts and so on you have installed. So that shouldn't be an issue with the emphasis on should. Now with that, we are back in PixInsight. So the next question would be, so what does actually this then do? This update, check for update. There are some minor things which are actually fed by PixInsight and which can be updated through that. But it checks the updates for this year. These are all the script repositories that I have entered. And you see there's also some here, update ones, which are really related to PixInsight. But if you click this update, check updates, it will actually look through all of these repositories. And if it finds a change, then that's what's going to update it. And that brings us now to this update manage repositories. Because especially now with the Graxpert script and so on, a lot of time when I publish the repository link in YouTube, people reply, well, it doesn't work. I get a not found error or something like that. And that's normal because these repository URLs, you should not put in the browser, you should put it in here. So you click on add, you enter here the new URL of the new repository and you click OK. Once you have done that, you actually click OK and then you go updates, check for updates. It will find the update and you click OK. And then you have actually to exit PixInsight. It will start the update, restart PixInsight and then you have the new script available. So this is all what you have to know for the standard updates if everything works fine. Now, what can we do if not everything works fine? And not everything works fine usually means you either cannot find some scripts or some processes. And from my point of view, the easiest way how to deal with that is you go in resources, updates, and you say reset updates. It tells you that it will actually forget all installed updates and afterwards everything has to be installed again what it, when it comes to scripts and so on. Don't panic, that's no problem because the script URLs, they're still there. They just have to be reloaded, which means that is a little bit traffic, takes five minutes or so, that is all. So what do you do? You say yes. After then again, it tells you that you have to close PixInsight, you close it, you open again, and then you state again, check for updates, and everything will be loaded again. And there's a good chance that with this, everything is fine again. What other ways do we have? Let's assume you're missing a script. What you see down here is feature scripts. If you click on that, you see all the scripts that you have installed. If you're actually missing now something, first of all, you can see if it is deselected. That could be, or you can click here on regenerate. And sometimes this will work. If still not, and you still know that you had a script and you don't have it anymore, you can click here on add. When you click on add, you have to go to your Pix Inside folder, be this now in Windows or in Mac. Then you go to SRC, which is actually the script folder. You go to scripts and you look through them. And if you find there's something that you're missing, for example, generalized hyperbolic stretch or so on, you can go on there and click open and it will actually install it. So what are we going to do if we actually miss the process? We have exactly the same here under modules. Install modules, you can actually search and it actually still finds amazingly here generalized hyperbolic stretch, even it's now installed. So strange, but so I clear this again, this is one way. And you also see here the folder where all the processes are stored. That's in Pix inside bin. So you can also with your file manager go and actually look in this directory if you find anything that resembles this process. There's one thing more, sometimes these processes, they are in directories. And if you just press search, it will not find it. So you have to select here recursive and then it also looks in the subdirectories. So if you find anything that would make sense, you will click install and it will also install it. Now, what if everything I told you now does not work? Then there's one last thing you can do and that is just reinstall PixInsight. So even if you have the most recent version, 
just download it again from the home page as shown at the beginning of this video and just reinstall it. And if it still doesn't work at this point of time, that's the moment where you need to reach out specifically and the Facebook forums like PixInsight for Beginners or PixInsight Tips and Tricks, these are really good places to go and ask questions very specifically. And there's usually someone who can help also people from PixInsight are in these forums and they're sometimes very helpful. So I hope this was helpful. Everything works now again with your PixInsight and that's really better this way because some exciting new scripts and also new workflows will come soon. See you next time and clear skies. Thank you.